Okay, so for this chapter, uh, we are going to solve some uh, selected problems uh, of the AOPS A -Ops Volume 1 questions. Uh, so uh, this lecture is some selected problem from the uh, geometry of the chapter 11. It's a talk about the triangle. So let's start with the question 168. So it means how many scaling, scaling, uh, scaling triangles have all sides of integral uh, in, uh, of integer length and the perimeter less than thirteen. Okay, so for triangle without loss of generality, we can see three sides are a less than b less than c. Then we know we must have the a plus b greater than c. It's the, uh, it's the, it's the requirement, right? And we need the a plus b plus c is less than thirteen. It's less or equal than twelve. Uh, this gives us the so the uh, the a plus b plus c uh, will less or equal than twelve. Then greater than the two c. So we know the largest side the c should be less than six. Okay, so the so there are some possibilities, right? And the C because one, two, three is uh, is uh, at least the C need to be greater or equal than three and less than six. Okay, then we can do the enumeration. So we can do enumeration of the of the combination of the A B given the the largest side of the C. Then we can do some counts. Then add them together. <coughs> Okay, so let's see if C is five, if C is four, and the C is three. Okay, uh, the first is the what's the scaling triangles? Okay, scaling triangle means the three sides are not all equal. Means three sides, no two are equal. Okay, so without a loss generality, we can do this. Now we can uh, enumerating right. Uh, so. In order to have this one, we need the uh, it's five, right? So so the the a plus b can be equal to seven. The a plus b can be equal to six. Uh, and the a plus b uh, can be equal to the uh, cannot be equal to five, right? So these are all uh, the only case, right? Okay, for this one. Is a plus b can be equal to eight? Uh, a plus b can be equal to seven. A plus b can be equal to six, right? And a plus b can be equal to okay. Let me. A plus b can be equal to six. And a plus b can be equal to five. Okay, and the last one is three. Okay, so now let's see because the c is the largest one, right? So the b, if you take uh, this one as three, four, that's the that's what you can do. A less than b less than c, right? For this one is you can do the three three because no one can equal, right? Or if you can do four is two two four, right? And for this one is eight. So in order to have the eight and the no one less than four, you must have four four. So this one doesn't work, right? And this one, if you can have the three four, you already the 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 largest should be less than four, right? And this one, you have the three three or two four. The two four doesn't work, right? And this one is two three. Okay. And for the last one is the a plus b. You can see you must have one at the biggest as two, right? The other should be either uh, one or two, but it doesn't work. Okay, so we have two case here, one case here, zero case here. So the total case is three. Okay, so question one hundred seventy-two. Okay, so this one is talking about the we have a triangle of the PYT is a right triangle. Okay, 
So we have a right triangle with one side is 66, the other side is 77, and we know the PT is uh, more than 50, right? And expressed as x root of the y, find x, x root y, x plus y, okay? So let's assume, I mean, there are two cases, right? Is the PT is the leg, that's the first case. The second case is PT is hypotenuse. Okay, so let's see the first case is PT is the leg, okay? If PT is the leg, so this YT is the largest, right? So it's because YT is already greater than the PY, right? So the PT uh, will be equal to root of the 77 square minus 66 square by the difference uh, difference of the square we know this is 11 times the uh, 77 plus, plus 13 times 11 right so it will be equal to the 11 of the root 13 right and the 11 of the root 13 uh, 13 is less than 16 right should, this one should be less than 44 Okay, but we need the the PT should be greater than 50, right? So here is a contradiction, so it doesn't work. So the PT must be the hypotenuse, right? So now we can see it's 11 square, right, of the 49 plus the 36 is equal to 11 root of the 5, and uh, this is the 85, okay? So 85 divided by 5, right, it's 17. So that's why it's already reduced to the simplest form. So x equal to 11 and the y equal to the 85. So x plus y is equal to 96. Then the 170. Six. Okay, we want to prove uh, for any triangle we have the three altitudes. We want to prove this, right? So for any triangle, we know the side, right? For example, this is the ABC and the ABC without loss of generality. Okay, well we can see the uh, let's see the A greater than B greater than C. Okay, so that means the the A is equal to the 2s over HA, and the B is equal to the 2s over HB, and C is equal to the 2s HC, where S is area of triangle. Okay, once we get this, then we have the the 2s over HA will be less than the 2s over HB plus the 2s over HC. Then from here, we can get 1 over HA will less than 1 over HB uh, plus 1 over HC. Okay, so this is a simple but uh, to prove but very important conclusions. Okay, we are, this one is very useful conclusions. Uh, problem 178. So the, the, the triangle between, uh, the angle between the medium CF, CM, and uh, the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse of the AB of the right triangle is equal to 30. Okay, between the CM and the AB. So M is the median, right? For the because this is the right triangle, so we know that BM equal to AM equal to CM equals to the uh, uh, a circumference radius R, right? Okay, so you know this angle is uh, thirty, so this angle is fifteen. This angle is fifteen, right? And now we know this angle is 75, and the B is this angle is 75. Okay, so find the area of the triangle ABC if the CH is equal to 4. Okay, so yeah, I still need to draw a big picture. Let's see, this, this angle is 30, so 
that's why this angle is 60. This is the 4, right? Uh, so this is the 4, and this is the 4 root 3. Uh, and then we know this is the 30, this is the 8, and this is the 8, right? Okay, so now the triangle, you know the uh, C, uh, M, A, B, right? So you know the C, M equal to A, M equal to uh, B, M equal to 8, right? Then we know the hypotenuse A, B is equal to 16. Then the area of the triangle is half of the A, B times the C, H times C, H is equal to half of the 16 times 4 is e equal to 32. Okay, so next is problem 179. So this is the, the base of a triangle is 15, okay? Let's draw a triangle. The base of the triangle is the 15, and two lines are drawn parallel to the base, terminating uh, in the other two sides are dividing the triangle into three equal area. Okay, so what is the length of the parallel closer to the base? Okay. So now let's see. Uh, we 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 let's see. We have the equal area. Okay, of the of the uh, A A A. That's, they have three parts of the par parallel, okay? Then this is the A, B, C. Oh, let's change another number. It may be changed to P, P, P. P, P, P. Okay, A, B, then C, D, then D, E, F, G. Okay, so now we know the, the triangle A, D, E over the triangle A, F, G. This is a one over two, right? So then we know because it's the area ratio that we know the AD over DF is equal to one over root two, right? So DF is one over root two. So this is the, this is the M. This is the root two minus one of the M, right? Okay, so we also know the triangle AFG, AFG, right? Over the triangle ACD is equal to the two over three. Uh, uh, no, uh, ADE, use ADE, it's easy. ADE, okay. Use ADE is easy. So it's 1 over 3, right? Now, then we know the side of the AD over the AB is equal to 1 over root 3, right? So this is the M. So this is the root 3 minus 1M. So this is root 3 minus root 2 of the M is BF. Okay, now we get, now we get all, all, every, uh, the all the all the ratios, right? You know the ratio of this, so you don't have to calculate it. But this is the important uh, results, okay? This is the important results because I I see some other problems and let you calculating all these ratios, okay? Uh, in order to get the length closer to the base, that's very simple, right? So it's two over three, right? So the so the FG and the BC is equal to the root of the two over three. It's the square root of the area ratio. Then we can see, so the FG is equal to 15 times the two over three. So it is the uh, three, it's the three fifteen root six is equal to five root six, okay? So the, the next, so the straight line AB uh, divided uh, at C, 
the straight line A be divided as C. Uh, okay, let me see. So we have uh, AB. We have a line of the AB, and uh, the straight line is AC is equal to its 3m and this is the m the circle are drawn with the ac and the cb as diameter ac and bc as a diameter okay then we have a common tangent a common tangent Meet the A B extend at the D. We want to see the B D is equal to the radius of the small circle. Okay, so the radius of the two circle are three to uh, the, the diameter are three to one, right? So the radius are also three to one, right? So it's the tangent point is the P Q. So it's the center of the O two and O one. So we know the from the O to the touch point is uh, perpendicular. So let's see this is the R, this is the 3R. Now we know this is also R, this is the 3R, right? Okay, so this is also the R. So by the, by the ratio that we know is the BD is X, right? We know the X plus the R over X plus the uh, 2 5r right is equal to the r over 3r is equal to 1 over 3 right so now you can go solve the problem is the 3x plus the 3r equals to the uh, x plus the 5r then we can see the 2x equals 2r then we have the x equals r Okay, so x equals r, that means bd equal to the radius of the small circle. Okay, so I will talk about, discuss the uh, rest of second, in the second part of the video. Okay, thank you. Bye.